want to win in customs, but your team's too whack, just hit me up on Discord and let me pimp your packs. Welcome back to Pimp My Pack, a series where I take your custom packs and pimp them out. How the series works is I've got a channel on my Discord where you can submit your custom packs to me along with a description on how to play them. I then take those packs, test them, make some changes, and then give them back to you along with the pointer on how to play the new pack. It's a win-win, you know, I get some really cool content and I get to share my love of custom packs and then you get a super cool custom pack tailored to exactly how you want it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you join my Discord in the description below and then post your custom pack in the Pimp My Pack channel. Now, I can't promise I'll be able to get to every submission. I'm also not the greatest custom packs player or builder in the world, but if you have a really cool idea you want me to take a look at, go and post it in the Pimp My Pack channel and I may get to it in a future episode. So for today's video, we are looking at the submission from Matchman. This is a pack called Shop Scaling. He says, this pack is dedicated to shop scaling. I want the most optimal shop scaling while at the same time being in standard. I want to be able to swap in some interchangeable pets for achievement hunting. Overall, I want the pack tidy up a bit. I think it's a bit sloppy and needs some more testing, but of the runs that I have had, the luck has been all over the place. If the pack needs a bit more consistency, or maybe that's just my skill level, LOL. Have fun, Big T. Yo, I've never had anyone call me Big T before. Let's go, Big T. Uh, cool, let's throw this pack into the Super Auto Pets Custom Pack Builder and take a look at it. All right, so here is Matchman's shop scaling pack, and overall it looks pretty decent. I mean, you got the obvious shop scalers with Chicken and Lioness, and they've got lots of ways to try and like uh, get those like crazy. I mean, Lioness didn't have too many combos with it, just more Lioness, but I mean, Chicken being a faint pet means you can use it with, you know, Whale, you got Mushroom, you know, you got Anubis with it. Um, you can do Beluga with it inside, maybe find some more shop with Venus Flytrap. You got a couple other like shop scalers like Food Dog and I guess Polar Bear uh, shop scales one pet specifically. But overall, I think it's pretty decent. There's a couple things you could have thrown in. I think Flying Fish would have been great for this pack. Just imagine like Flying Fish love potion with the chicken, you know, and then the whale swallows the chicken and you get to put chocolate onto the, you know, the free summoned chicken or something like that from the whale. Like... I think it could do a little more, maybe oyster mushroom as well. Oh God, I have the can of course, but oyster mushroom could be cool as well as a way to like transfer another pet into a chicken, you know, but overall I think it looks pretty decent. You've also got some pets that can be nice with a lot of stats in the late game, like Cobra, Sleepner, Highland Cow, um, Nurikabe, stuff like that. So I uh, don't play shop scaling much, so I don't know how well the battles will go, but I think the pack looks really good. So let's take it into the game and see how we do. Well, I didn't hit the Lioness high roll like I did the first game, but this one was going a lot better in the second game, that's for sure. Um, this team is nasty, and yes, I've actually seen this before. Uh, 
I'm doing something inspired by this for Try Hard Tuesday. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this pack is really good. There's a couple other ideas I could throw in there. Like, you know, I ran into that other person chicken scaling with Pteranodon. Like, why don't I try Pteranodon? But overall, I think the pack is in a good place. I think you use maybe a couple more ways to like, you know, get those chicken scaling. Maybe a couple more pets in the late game that I can have with just high stats to get me wins. But overall, I think it's really good. So let me throw this into the builder, put my take on it, and see what I can do. So once again, this is the pack as it was given to me. And now, let me show you this i present to you the pimped matchman pack let's talk about it so like i said i felt the pack was in a really strong place already so i didn't make too many changes most of what i did was just adding you know some more ways to maybe uh, exploit the chicken scaling and then some more late game options for your stats to transfer into and then a couple of our pets took out or put in just based on personal preference so early game, I had to put in Flying Fish Love Potion. One, because it's so strong. I mean, you can get it with, put out your beta fish, ant eater, weasel, um, anything like that. Lucky cat with it, like can be crazy strong. Deer, I um, also have deer in case you can't hit a chicken early enough. You know, maybe you can start leveling up a whale and use the deer to get you keep you getting wins while you're waiting for a chicken, you know? Um, and then in the late game, you know, I kept the Cobra, Highland Cow, Slipner. Also had a Gorilla and Hydra because those are both pets that are really good when they're at 50-50. The stats and the, can be really nice for those. Um, now I'll offer some more tempo and for, you know, whale stuff. And Cyclops I threw in here because if you're going to be leveling up stuff, trying to level up chicken and stuff, you know, maybe that can help a bit. Plus, you, if you get it to level 2, then you can use it to activate the Pixiu, Pichu ability, whatever it is, every turn. If it has a gingerbread on it, so that's really nice. Imagine a 1.5 Pichu with gingerbread, and then Cyclops gives it 4 mana. That's 6 gold a turn. That's super nice. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this pack was really good. Was there any other changes? Oh yeah, I took out Cat. Cat was in the pack. Your highest tiered stat food in the pack was fried shrimp. I guess you're just relying on cornucopia or maybe it was in there for the achievement. I don't really know. So I took it out, replaced it with something else. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. Uh, overall, I think this pack is in a nice spot now. It was already in a good spot. Hopefully this helps you get it over the line. So let's take it into the arena and test it out. And that's the power of flying fish. Holy Hyrule, that was an insane game. Uh, I really wanted the Lioness 5 of kind at the end, and I thought maybe I'll go Nurikabe 5 of kind instead, but either way, we just won. That was so nasty. See, that's why I put flying fish in your custom packs. It's so stupid broken with a love potion. So glad love potion's getting nerfed to like tier four, or whatever it is in the test server. So hopefully they get that change push the live server. But yeah, hope you enjoy this pack match, man. Hopefully you can get as good shop luck as I did. And I hope you can get that 50-50 shop that you want. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the generic stuff. I'll have the pack code in the description if anyone else wants to try this pack. And if you have a pack of your own you want me to test, make sure you join my Discord link below. All right, that's going to be it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next video. But until then, as always, stay true.